Hey there everybody, it's me, Hologene. Today I'm going to be showing you my lamp posts with hanging baskets. We can start off here by making the base and the pole of the lamp post with a block, cobblestone walls, and spruce fence posts to sort of ease the girth of the post as it goes up before we have this sort of um, thing to hold the lights with at the top. We can then add sea lanterns on either side of the cobblestone wall at the top as they don't connect to the cobblestone wall and generally look nicer than glowstone. We then need to connect the sea lanterns to the post by adding a trap door in the middle and spruce slabs on the top of the sea lanterns as if they were holding them at the top. Now for the hanging baskets, we can now use iron bars which sort of look like chains underneath the sea lanterns. We then put leaves in this example birch underneath the chains and hoppers under that to make the basket itself. Then after that, I recommend that you go ahead and add some hidden light sources on the bottom of the lamppost, as the lights are pretty high up and won't light things up very well. This can be done by placing a glowstone or some sort of light block, two blocks underneath the soil, covering it with jungle leaves, and then putting some sort of like bush or decoration at the top around the lamppost. You can also make a matching smaller version by just putting one sea lantern on the front of the lamppost. These lamp posts are small enough where they'll fit really nicely into your survival builds as well, as the scale of things is generally smaller there. If you really want, you can replace the sea lanterns with redstone lamps and put an inverted light sensor at the top to have them turn on and off automatically with the daylight cycle. If you like this video and would like to see more tips, buildings, and tutorials from Mehology, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Goodbye.